Hi guys, welcome to Toulouse, southern France. And today it is a pleasure to be taking the beautiful Malaysia Airlines A350 9MMAG. This is the sixth and the last A350 delivery of Malaysia Airlines. My name is uh, Captain Andrew Poe. I'm the chief pilot of training. Captain Zainal Azmin, uh, he's our Airbus training manager. And, so, and this is Captain uh, Zainuddin, he's Hi. our head of technical. When you will be in the aircraft, you will go directly on this frequency mm -hmm. for start, start up and ATC clearance. We have a slot time at uh, 11.46. UTC. This video is different. I'm documenting the entire delivery flight operations to share with you behind the scenes that normally we don't see in the video. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Captain Zainal Azbin Abdulaziz. So I'm the uh, training manager for Airbus for Malaysia Airlines. Okay. I'll start the uh, exterior, exterior inspection. Normally we start from the nose cone. Just to check all our normal surfaces are not intrude. It's mainly just a visual inspection. Uh, if there's any question, we're going to ask the engineers about it. You can see this is a Rolls Royce engine, new one, brand new. All the time keeping an eye on the uh, surfaces of the aircraft. Checking the gears, our main priorities are to check all the brake pins. From the back. Normally the pilot will just have a look again all the uh, on top of the wing uh, whether there's anything there. There's the completion of our exterior check for this A350 and after this I have to go up into the cockpit and prepare for the flight. And then after airborne, they just uh, proceed to the uh, SID Amola 5 Bravo departure. Uh, departure frequency 129.3 at 2 DME Tango Oscar uniform, just uh, cross check for me please. Sure. Uh, direct to Tango Oscar uniform, initial climb is 70. Set MS5025 to Kuala Lumpur and uh, alternate is Penang. Flight level 350 initially. Take a performance, have been uh, checked, off the flaps 1 plus F to the end. Yeah. All set. Okay. Have a nice flight. Good luck. For your France Croatia match. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> France will win. Viva the blue, sure. eh? Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Viva la France. Yeah. <laughs> we have for pushback for runway 32 left. So this will be Sierra 60 for the left and right. Left and right. Before take off check, please. Before take off. Flight control. Checked. Check. Flight instruments. Checked. Check. Briefing. Confirmed. Flight setting. Config 1. Config 1. V1, VRV2, translating. 148, 148, 153. The routing today, we will be flying over France. I think we took off from Toulouse mm -hmm. and we are flying over France and uh, Italy will bring us over Croatia and after Croatia to Macedonia, Turkey, Iran, Pakistan, airspace before proceeding to India and after that uh, towards Thailand and then moving uh, southeast towards Kuala Lumpur. Right? Approximately 11,000 kilometers is our distance today to travel and uh, a flight time of 11 hours and 45 minutes.
So this is a dream. Why? Because I have a whole empty cabin of business class to all to myself. Great for half gig. I've been working from two years before um, first aircraft delivery, and we are working on customization and. Now to the last phase is a delivery of the aircraft. So we have six days um, with Airbus inspecting the aircraft and um, do whatever finding that we have and put it to Airbus for rectification. We have um, cabin specialists which um, specially inspect all the cabin conditions so that we got the good cabin before we're going home. What's your experience out of six delivery now um, MAB has done? Yeah, um, so the first aircraft is um, a little bit hard for us because we, we don't know, we never fly in the, this aircraft. So now the numbers is keep going down when Airbus improve and our vendor improve their quality. Oh, you uh, mean the numbers of faults, find, the yeah. numbers of uh, defects. Defect, yeah. It's going down. Yeah. Well, as you can see, this is a brand new airplane that protecting the uh, floor. So uh, no matter it's the cockpit area or the galley area, everything is still covered. So the airplane can arrive in Kuala Lumpur in a pristine condition. This is how a delivery flight normally is done. And if you see this is a brand new galley here, everything is new. This is first time the airplane, the galley being used. This is one of the uh, beverage chiller here. Everything here is brand new. So I'm in the rear galley and uh, as a delivery flight, you help yourself and yeah, you own the whole airplane here. There is yeah. really, you know, you can just do whatever you like here. Help yourself out. Party area. Hey. <laughs> uh, just behind the cockpit, the pilot crew rest area. Because of the delivery flight, we can uh, just come in here, have a look. Behind me is two bunk uh, for the crew. So this is what we have for today. Uh, like, like what you can see here, this is the lobster for the starter. So sa some salad. And this is the cheese. And the main course is the lamb biryani and I love the dessert which is the uh, fruit tart. So enjoy! With me is Shasni Hi. and Yasmin. So if you look at the uh, magenta arrow, this is the indicating the present position now. So we are over Macedonia and we will be passing over the FIR towards Turkey airspace. Well as you can see the cockpit is uh, quite clean, spacious. We have multiple screen. You can see uh, the screen in front. They are all interchangeable, meaning we can just swap it easily. Anyone we want to use it? Our engineer is better uh, maintenance. We have seen the overhead panel. Mm -hmm. It's mainly about the aircraft systems. And we have the uh, pressurization, the electrical, fuel, hydraulics. Those are the traffic that's using the transponder, which are we are picking up on our display unit. So the middle part is mainly about the engines, where we can have a look at all these uh, parameters. Those are the engine parameters. Below here is mainly in the communication part between aircraft and ATC sometimes, and especially where we put our flight pattern. So you can see all the waypoints. Okay, we're using a mouse, as you can see, it's moving. So on the right side pilot, we're going to be a circle and the left side pilot is going to be like a cursor so we don't get confused which is which. Navigation part with the keyboard, engines, we have our weather radar, transponder and this is the trim which we will use for manual and this is the transponder for the aircraft. I know we use it on ground. The speed brake, you can use uh, to slow down the aircraft. To, to go down faster. There's a standard keyboard they can use. So when you're manipulating the uh, routings, especially when you want to ask, uh, type something, you can use this anytime. Okay. So we can ask for airport weather and uh, any uh, request or even a reroute. Here you can see a uh, control where we call it a side stick used by either pilot to control the whole aircraft. Okay, we are now maintaining an uh, altitude of 39,000 feet. And if you look here, and if I built, am I able to bring up the pressurization page? As you can see, it's cabinet pressurization. At, at 39,000, the Airbus 350 is able to hold a cabin altitude of 5,650, which is actually quite good. Seems you are in a car.
front of me right now, I would like to show you one secret place where you're gonna love it. Let's go! So, so some secret path happened? here. Yeah, this is secret code which only the crew knows. So, okay. uh, so I'm not gonna look at it here. So yeah. This is like Alibaba. The door just opened. The cave door just opened. Oh wow! So this is actually the crew bunk. Welcome to our crew bunk. Uh, um, in total, we have six crew bunk in here. It's really long, actually. It's really, really long. Yes, it is. And I've got privacy screen here, yes. so I can. All right. Good night. Sam, I'll show you one more thing. This is the emergency exit hatch. This one here. So yes, so in case you have an emergency, we're gonna use this hatch to come down. The sun gradually faded after about six hours into the flight over Iran. I really, really enjoy that magical sunset. Welcome to first class. This is your suite. It's actually not very square or rectangular, it's actually a little bit like a bubble. It swells a bit, so it creates a bit more space around and uh, the shape. Electric blinds, you can you know, simply touch a button, it can come down. It was a short night as we fly easterly direction. After three hours, we saw the blue light over the far horizon near the Bay of Bengal. A new day is waiting ahead. I think this is truly one of the most beautiful sights at 41,000 feet.
So that was the end of the sixth and final A350 delivery to Malaysia Airlines. I have started a YouTube channel membership with special content and exclusive access to members who sign up. So don't forget to subscribe from the link in the description. Good job, eh? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for flying Malaysia Airlines.